Yes. Well, first tonight, yes, it was business as usual for the royal family today, and in particular, Princess Anne. Of course, it's just over 24 hours now since Buckingham Palace announced that King Charles has been diagnosed with cancer. He's begun treatment, which we've been told he remains wholly positive about. So today, the Princess Royal arrived as planned in our region, carrying out some official duties. Jodie Law reports. As the King's cancer diagnosis continues to dominate the headlines, Princess Anne arrives at Plumtree Hall in Eastwood in Nottinghamshire this afternoon. Her Royal Highness is here to find out about new services from mental health occupational therapists who are helping people improve their mental health. Your Royal Highness, how is the King? It's a question on everyone's lips, but today the focus is on this event. Inside, ahead of the visit, I met Paul Cook. He's a dad of three from Giltbrook. Last summer, he was off sick from work after experiencing low mood, anxiety and panic attacks. After using this service, he's seen his mental health significantly improve. A lot of people think you go into some sort of therapy or mental health therapy, anything like that for a magic pill or they're going to make me feel better and that's it. And it's not. It's You, you have to sort of go in a bit open-minded and realise that it's you who makes you better. And they can sort of help give you the tools to do that. Service users and health professionals alike have come together to welcome Her Royal Highness, who's the patron of the Royal College for Occupational Therapists. This visit is a chance for her to see firsthand how the services are helping residents. We do kind of a lot of assessment based, based work, a lot of talking, exploring on, on what their priorities are, what their goals are, what they feel needs to help and happen. And then from that, um, we'll be doing kind of practical interventions with them. So as I said before, we're looking at anxiety management as one example. So we will do um, relaxation work with people, getting them skilled up on being able to do that themselves. During the private visit, Princess Anne was able to see how a new group therapy is working and chatted to those involved. The people I spoke to told me the subject of the King's health wasn't mentioned, but to have a princess in Eastwood came as a shock. It was fantastic, really good, really good. She's very down to earth, she's a beautiful human being. Really nice, such a laugh, like she had such a good personality, like you could literally straight up she had a laugh with us. I've only ever seen on the television um, and in kind of media and pictures, so to suddenly see her there as a real human being, it was very humbling and it was really kind that she came. As the Princess Royal prepared to leave, some were able to bag a decent spot inside the local church to catch a glimpse of her as she left for her next engagement of the day. Jodie Law, BBC East Midlands Today, Eastwood.